Hi there, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to speak about Amazon audiobooks and how to get into an Amazon, how to audition for an Amazon audiobook uh, via the ACX platform. Now, this is a great way to get started uh, in voiceover. It's a great way to, to gain some experience and possibly make some money and eventually uh, make a lot of money afterwards, uh, hopefully. Okay, so Amazon audiobooks, of course, Amazon are a massive company, um, as we all know, and the, uh, the platform where voice actors or voice artists can audition and offer to voice over uh, an audio book for an author it is called ACX, okay? So I'm just going to give you a quick look at this now. Now, ACX is a great way to, um, to start. Just bear with me. Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, ACX website. As you can see, you can sign up. You can put in your filter if you're a male or female action, uh, which accent, sorry, which accent that you have, which accent can you do, which books are you interested in. And um, eventually, then you'll be asked to audition for these books. Now to audition, of course, you'll need to pass a test. We'll come to that and I'll show you how to do that uh, very soon. Now there are a couple of different types of, of audio books that are looking for, for voices. Um, some will, will look for somebody to do it for free, which might not sound good, but of course, if you're starting out, it's a great way to gain experience and gain reviews. And eventually then you, you'll get on the platform and you know people will come looking for you. Um, another way, of course, is to look just for a paid job, but you might need experience before you go for the paid job. For me, the best way to start off is with royalty share. So you're not getting paid for the work straight away, but if the audio book becomes successful, when they sell it, you will get your share. So you might agree like 20%, 30%, 40% of the, um, the book sale with the author. So when, when they sell the book, you'll get some money and you might not, you know, you might not expect anything. And then within two years, you're getting a lot of money coming your way for something you've probably forgotten about. So that, that's, a, it's, it's, you know, probably a good way to go. Um, now, of course, you know, to audition, you will need to send in an audio file. And uh, today we're using Audacity. Now, just to send in any audio file, they might not, they won't accept it because there's a certain standard to maintain the ACX um, standard. That's for your audition samples or if you're whatever file you send in to them to ACX, it's got to pass um, the ACX test. Now this is called an ACX check. Uh, this is a plugin that you can download uh, to Audacity for free. I'm just gonna show you how right now okay so bear with me i'm not quite there yet no it's not here folks uh okay here we go so you can just google voiceovertip.com has, has got a really informative um way on how to install it and how to use the plugin in audacity it's pretty simple the download link is there once you download it you can just drag and drop it into your audacity it's it's pretty easily done uh, then of course you're also going to, to download another plugin called rms normalize now the reason why you'll need this is because the, the normal normalizer the regular normalizer that's available on audacity uh, it won't actually help you to pass the acx test you need to have the rms normalizer also quite easy uh, you can just go to the audacity forum here i just basically googled rms normalize for audacity this is the first thing that pops up if you just scroll down there's the latest version and the older version of the rms normalize uh pretty simple download it and, and to your plugins for audacity and um away you go so once you've got your your acx uh plugin downloaded and the rms normalizer downloaded the next step, of course, is to go to Audacity itself. So I'm going to head over here now. 
Okay, this is Audacity. Here we are. So, of course, we're going to have to uh, record something. This is a recording sample that will hopefully get me a job and pass me the ACX test uh, for Amazon audiobooks. I'm doing this today from my booth, and I really hope this helps everyone that watches this video. Okay, so there's my audio sample. Now, um, I'm going to highlight that. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to your effects and go down to filter curve. I'll go up in my case here. Now, filter curve on the older editions of Audacity will be called an equalizer. So I've already set the levels uh, which you need to pass the ACX test, okay? So basically, what I'll do is I'll leave this here for you for a couple of seconds. So you can pause the screen if you're looking. Um, basically, this was the, the flat rate, what it comes with. I just dragged that down there to uh, just, just between 60 and, and, and uh, 100. So that's your, uh, your filter curve. Okay, that's step one. I press OK. And the next one is the RMS normalizer. Now, like I said, there is a normal, a regular normalizer, but the RMS normalizer is the one you'll need to pass this test. Okay. So RMS normalizer independently. Uh, the target RMS level is minus 20. And I haven't touched anything else. Just click on OK. Back up to effects. I just go down to your limiter. Now it's a soft limit. The input gain is zero. The input gain on the right hand side is zero. Limit to dB minus uh, 3.50. The hold, MS hold, is 10. Um, apply makeup gain, no. I haven't touched anything else. I click on OK. Now, to stop you doing this every single time, you can easily make a macro, which is what I have done. It's kind of like, uh, you know, your settings are saved. And every single time that you want to, you know, uh, apply a setting to your audio file, you can just do it once as opposed to those three times. So I'm just going to remove these for a second and show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so we're back to our original audio here, just to show you. Um, I've highlighted it, and in your macro, if you don't know how to use a macro, of course, that the, there, there's tutorials everywhere on how to set up a macro. Basically, the macro will, will have all those settings in one, and you can just apply it, which saves you tons of time. So my tools here, I go to apply macro, and I have ACX, okay? I clicked on that, so that's done the three of them together, nice and simple. Now, the ACX test uh, is up here in my analyze. I'm going to click on this. ACX check. And as you can see there, the clip meets the ACX requirements. Okay. So I'm just going to let you listen to this before and after. So listen to it now after it's passed the test. This is a recording sample that will hopefully get me a job and pass me the ACX test uh, for Amazon audiobooks. I'm doing this today from my booth, and I really hope this helps everyone that watches this video. Okay, and now when I remove the ACX, the settings, this is a recording sample. That As you can see, the quality is, you know, it's a lot less, it's lower. But those three settings that um, I showed you there, you know, they will pass the ACX test. And when you're auditioning, of course, like when I did it first, I hadn't got a clue. I just auditioned and I was getting nothing. But of course, you know, the quality has to be of ACX standard. And that's why we pass the, uh, the ACX check. And I really hope this helps you out. If you have any questions at all, uh, put them in the comment section and I will gladly answer them. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll hopefully put some more tutorials up and how to help you on your voiceover journey. And uh, yeah, as always, happy voiceover.